Hello and welcome to jobskillshare.org, our course Windows 10 training for home users and IT professionals. In this video we will be adding another unit and that will be called uh, how to set up Windows 10 mail app. Now the mail app it comes with Windows 10. So this is the app and I'm gonna close it to get there you just click on start and you see the mail right here that's how uh, the first time when you install Windows it should you should see it over there it's a built-in app you can also type mail and you can see this is the mail app it's coming from Windows Store and it's not Outlook Outlook is the installation that you have done with Office uh, Office 365 installer or Office 2016 or 13 or you know however version you're using that's Outlook this is mail that it that is built in and pretty powerful now for home users they could watch this video and how to set it up for IT users when I do explanations now that could be you might be working with a remote users and they will call you hey how do I set up mail on my computer so don't get confused they're talking about mail app or you probably want to specify it to them like hey do you mean mail app or do you mean Outlook now, if they don't ins they don't have the ability to install Outlook, you probably get it that either they bought an Outlook and then you can just specify, hey, do you mean Outlook? Okay, let's work on Outlook. Oh, okay, do you mean Mail app? Let's work on that. So that's how you will kind of know that what you're working on. So to go to to set up Mail, you will just click on Mail app right here, and you see my one of my account is already pre-configured when I logged in with my Microsoft account to this computer it automatically created a mailbox for me that is pretty cool because it's already doing that for you if you have a, a Microsoft account and you can see the notifications right here on the right side I can see notifications already coming from mail so I can just quickly see what's going on what email without even opening the whole mail I can see that these notifications usually also show in numbers when you sign out from this machine and on the front screen you see the notification so that's another way it's like your phone you know you get notifications on your phone and you quickly open it and phone also have it built in it's basically the same concept so to add a mail uh, address to your uh, client and you can use any other email it's not just Microsoft Gmail Office 25 Exchange pop and all different type of custom emails so you will click on add you see Outlook live hotmail MSN exchange office 25 so if you have office 25 and you're on ADFS not like directly logging in you probably will write your e uh, company's email address and they'll say oh login use the domain this format of the domain and then username and password you, all you have to do is to just write the username and the password and then it should just take you to office 365 email if you have Gmail, you just type it here, or Yahoo, iCloud, and Pop and IMAP is like if you have like a web hosting company, for example, Bluehost or SiteGround, uh, you just need to go to their site information and then type like, you know, Bluehost webmail settings, SiteGround webmail, webmail settings, Wix, whatever web hosting you're using, there they should be on Pop or IMAP and then you just type that information and then it just adds you just like these. But these are all pre-configured. So, for example, if I want to add a Gmail account, or if I want to make a Hotmail account, we can do that. So, let's go ahead and try the Gmail account. So, here I'm going to go ahead and type one of my Gmail account, and all I have to do is put my email password, and I'll show you that process right after this. Then it will ask for permissions. All we have to do is to click Allow creating account and that there you go successfully added we're gonna click on done so now we have uh, two emails ready and I can just basically go to that um, you know email anytime and I can click on ready to go as you can see right now I have two emails uh, set up so one is my outlook right here and one is my Gmail so I can just click on this one it tells me all these features from Gmail and then all these features from Outlook now there's other settings that you can change from here so um, all you have to do is to open this to maximize it there you go 
So let's say for example when you want to check email you'll click on this windows make the most of 24 hours and on the right side just like it is in Outlook. Just you can see how powerful this is. This is pretty good because this is the way it looks in Office 365 portal if you log in from the web but this is more powerful because it's like a client. So when you click on the little three dots that's the same way in Office 365 so you see you can do it by nearer, you can do older, you can find, you can save it, you can print, you can zoom in and you have other options like this like replying to this email you can do that from here when you click on reply this is how it looks in the same window you can change things here this is your text and all that area um, and you can discard email from here you can click on options and you have spelling options right here um, that's it from the from the body of the email you can also go to the settings right here and it gives you the settings of that so you say manage accounts if you want to add another account you can click here and click on add account right here you can link inboxes so personalization you can click on that you can change the colors the background so you see that that image color that you have you can change that from here you can browse and pick another one quick actions you can add quick actions to outlook select an outlook you can see gmail is which one uh, is basically your default um, and you can you can see if you want to change the method of removing and you know like if you want to delete by swiping you can do that if you just quickly delete it like just like you have it on the phone systems automatic reply you can set up set it up here reading that's another um, options right here what what you want to do how you want to read um, notifications are right here if you want to turn on and off that's if you're doing meetings and things like that email security can be applied to your account some of the accounts can be some of the accounts can um, so signature is another important one people will call you how do I change my signature from send from Windows 10 mail this is where you come and that's gonna be for call for an IT person and that's how you basically you navigate the person to just go to settings and on the right side click on signature and you can see right here for Outlook you'll put this for Gmail you'll put another one or you can put one for all emails so that's kind of the settings for this um, the another main uh, features of this is that you know you can add the calendar but you have to add the accounts and you can have people in there people I'm going to show you later on um, when you click on here you can you can have the full uh, screen you should see right here um, when you click on more you can see the other things like you know outbox deleted items if somebody called hey how do I get to my deleted items you'll have to click on more um, and uh, different options are here now one thing you can do is to uh, um, for new email let's say for example you want to send a new email you can just click on the top right here and it will create a new email like this now another thing is about the calendar you can see when I click on calendar I have to actually get started and add a calendar so whatever email that I have right now um, I can basically say ready to go and it will pick up calendar from those email addresses as you guys can see um, Dan desktop and the uh, other ones are picked so anything that is going on in that you will see right here and you can see a new event you can create from here um, the same way you have it in Office 365 the look they created is exactly the same as Office 365 which is pretty cool though because you can learn both at the same time so you have that and you can see it's, it's full calendar um, a lot of things busy free all these features are over there um, and most of you probably know this and you can do a lot of we can make it private from this little key pop out you can just pop it out from there and just basically work on that so now now this is what calendar and, and the way to go back to the mail you just click on this little mailbox thank you for watching this video uh, this is how you you configure Windows Mail and calendar and we will come back with a new video for Windows 10 training